And now I hope that you'll join with me in a time of prayer. I'm going to light the compassion candle before we begin in memory of Dean Swanson. I hope that you will remember Linda and her family in your prayers this week and know that we grieve right alongside you. Now let us pray. O oh Lord, for a peace that passes all understanding, for a grace beyond bounds, for lives well lived, for family held close, for a rock on which to lay our heads, God, we're grateful. Sometimes life is so incredibly difficult to understand, God. Help us to reach to you for that wisdom, for that understanding. Help us to trust in your grace and in your plan, and in all things to be grateful, Lord. You are the great physician. You are the great creator. And our lives and this very world are in your hands. God, I want to lift up Linda and the rest of her family today. Their hearts are broken, God. Heal them as only you can. Give them grace to face what they must face in the weeks and months ahead. And help us as a congregation to reach out in some small way that we might provide comfort and healing and be instruments of your peace. Lord, I continue to lift up Reverend Angie Kotzmeyer as she comes here to this church. I pray that you would prepare our hearts for her leadership to provide support and love and grace as she takes on this field. And for Michelle, as she moves to St. Luke's, Thank you for her ministry here, God, and please bless her ministry as she moves forward. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.